It's not really a club, it's, it's really a family um, in which, you know, a family that you get to see every week. You come up here on Wednesday night and you stay until Saturday morning. So you're, you're with your family really for three days, four days. And, and the great thing is you get to have fun with them up here, not just on game day, on, on Wednesday when you set the tents, on Thursday when the football team comes, on Friday when you're just hanging out. And to me, this is more than just a club. I mean, it's, it's where I get to come up here every week and I get to see some good friends that most of them that I actually met up here at the stadium, which is crazy to think about, but you know, it's, it's definitely more than a club. It's, it's easy to think that just Penn State football is enough on its own, but it's really the relationships that you build at game day that, that end up being more um, at the end of the day than necessarily the games themselves. I've been to a lot of places. I've been to Michigan, I've been to Ohio State, um, and, and numerous others, and it, it, nothing really compares to it. Well, waking up here on game day is something you can't even describe unless you do it. You know, when Wednesday comes for Nittanyville, it's it's just a celebration. You know, there's so many people here that, that want to be here and prove why Penn State has the greatest atmosphere in all college football. When you've been here for four years and you've camped out for every home game, you start to realize that the people that you were camping out with this whole time are actually more valuable than the games themselves. Uh, Thursday night before the home game against Ohio State and the band was here, the you know the football players were here, and Jason Cabinda kind of gave a little speech on you know what it means to be Penn State and and what to expect on Saturday, and, and it wasn't much, but it, at that moment I realized that you know this is going to be a really special game on Saturday. So then you encompass that from what happened that Saturday night and storming the field for the first time in a long time, um, and being one of the first people on the field. But from that Thursday, basically that Saturday, was probably the most electrifying experience that I've had uh, up here at Gay Day. Nittanyville represents so much more than just pitched up tents outside of a stadium. You know, we're, we're a town here. At times it became more of, you know, this was my place to relax, you know, get away from classes, get away from all the stress, come up here and, and hang out with your best friends, play some football, watch some football, you know, even just even hang around in a tent, as silly as that sounds. I mean, this was kind of my stress reliever, a way to get away from the classes and balance fun and, and college work. People say, why would you do that in the snow, rain, sleet? But it's just, I love Penn State football, and I love the front row because, not only because you're always focused on being on TV, it's just because you're the voice. Once you start yelling, it spreads like wildfire. Everyone behind you starts yelling. As Coach Franklin has said many times, it brings everyone together. It doesn't matter if you're black or if you're white or, uh, or you know, your religion. On Saturday nights, you know, we're all rooting for the same people, and we're all on the same team. It wasn't really about supporting a football team. It, again, it was kind of like hanging out all as, as we are one team. You know, as corny as that sounds, we are Penn State.